Så sak. Morning. Morning. So we're here on another full day of what the heck I eat in a day. Because a lot of you keep asking me, it's not like we've made videos of this before, is it? No, 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 no. At all. no, no. <laughs> There's a few on the channel. <laughs> yeah. But it's morning time, hence the cool groovy hairdo and awesome beardage. But we do have fasted mornings, so we don't tend to eat until around about 11, 12 o'clock, depending on when we get up. So it's usually about a four hour period where I'm not eating in the morning. The diet I'm doing is high fat, but it is not, repeat, not keto. So I'm still taking in carbohydrates. Current macros around 200 protein, 150 carbs, and 150 to 160 fat. That's probably gonna go up now that we're starting to do a lot more of the fight training, now we're starting to get into kind of more grappling and sparring and things like that, which you're gonna start seeing on the channel now. So we, you do have to balance your output with your input. So if you are eating a certain type of diet and then your, en your energy expenditure goes up, make sure that you actually counterbalance that with more food. That's why it's always better to do more activity so that you're able to eat more food rather than cut food out of your diet. So let's take a look at the first meal of the day. So we have olive oil cooked fried eggs. We have black pudding, which is a superfood. I'm not necessarily it is, look it up. Google black pudding and find out what's in it. Eat it before doing that. <laughs> then we have some uh, crispy bacon rashers. So we're not going for medallions anymore because we're on that higher fat level. High protein sausages. They're from uh, muscle food or obviously you can buy heck sausages and loads of things like that in your supermarkets. Side out orders we're gonna have. This is a seeded low carb, higher fat bread. So there's only around about five carbs and four fat per slice of these. They are a little bit smaller. Got a little bit of beanage because it's always nice to have a little bit of a uh, high bit of a protein kick and they help you poop. <laughs> <laughs> Softer butter, 100% Irish butter because we are racist towards British butter. I'd never noticed that before, you know. That's Irish. There's no Welsh butter and no British butter now. I'm resentful now. <laughs> Where, where's, where's, what's that butter that's in the crumpet advert? I'm not sure. Okay, I want, racist, I want that butter. I want that butter. No, you can't mind. No more racism on the butter front. This is it. This is this is what we want in the morning. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Oh damn it, I forgot the tune. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. Oh, yeah. Fully adult in. Yeah, we're filming with nuts in my mouth. <laughs> Always sexual. Always. 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 Not life Soon you can't. Probably sexual in your end of your day. <laughs> Not living life right. So we're back. From the hairdressers, keeping this fade in check is a job and a half in itself, and he's doing it every five days, but that's beside the point, because today's about food. So we're on the snacks. One of my favorites, I mean 60 grams of the cashew nuts. Now, obviously you can pick whatever nut you like. Pecans are really nice. Walnuts have added benefits. They've got like selenium in them, so you're getting micronutrients from them. It's an organic place of sustenance to go to, you know? So we're not eating just peanut butter out of the jar made of palm oil, so we're also, you know, helping the environment a little bit. My advice would be though, for your nuts, go to markets and buy them from there. Try avoiding supermarkets, unless they've got them in their own like super duper price range thing with jig, but I don't know if they do. Do they? I don't think they do. Yeah. Go to a market. So that's my snacks for today. 60 grams, cashew nuts. So, in stark contrast to this morning's chef's delights, this is what happens when I'm left home alone and we're in a little bit of a rush. So this is a lazy man meal extravaganza. We have some lean cut ham, which you can buy in any supermarket. If you can get them from the butcher's counters, get them from the butcher's counters. Just try and get something that goes out of date relatively quickly, because that tends to let you know there's not a lot of preservatives in them. Have those handy for times like this when you don't have time to be like cooking an entire meats, frying up chicken, or whatever you want to do. Then on the side of that, we've got the ready mash, which I've told you about a hundred times before. It's so good. 80p a tub. 
you're talking about 15 grams of carb per 100 instead of like 21 to 27 depending on what other potatoes you pick because it's made with uh, a little bit of resistance carb in there more bang for your buck if you're on a lower carb option like i am so we have 200 grams of the mashed potato and then sprinkled on that cheese bay <laughs> cheese is the cheating winner of the day because it's a mature cheddar 25 grams and you put that on anything, sprinkle it on there. It's gonna make anything taste great. Even though that is a ham in which you can get a style of like honey ham, peppered ham, there's loads of different variations in there. So that's it, a tip top, handy, lazy man, quick dash, protein, carb, fat, heavy meal for the lower carb side of things. Plus a little trick on the side, that was a bit snazzy, wasn't it? Yeah, not yeah. bad. Did I get rid of that? Protein infused water. So this is basically made with whey protein and water that you can keep in the fridge and they don't go off quickly because if you make your own protein shakes, they're gonna degrade. These are not made to do that. They're obviously made to last a lot longer. They're simple, they're quick, they're easy, they taste decent, plus it's hydrating because it's made with water rather than milk, which I'd normally make shakes with. So there we go. Handy, middle of the day meal for the lazy man. Chow down, Jay. <laughs> There we go. So we've got 20 grams of the Doctor's Axe coconut oil into a fresh, lovely, steaming coffee. Ah. So this is the perfect little pick-me-up before I'm gonna to go to training if I don't want to use something like the pre-workout. But because I'm going to something different today, I'm unsure as to how my gut's gonna react, so I want to keep it a little bit simple. So MCTs that are contained within this coconut oil are a immediate energy source. So that's gonna be a great thing to put into my system to get the body amped up alongside the caffeine of the espresso. As I get better and more used to what the training is gonna be and what it entails, then I'll be able to tailor my kind of pre-workout usage around that as necessary. But this is a fantastic way of keeping your diet nice and low in carbs and bumping those fats through a really small volume, high impact source, coconut oil in your coffee. You can also get pure MCT oil, which is even better because then the levels of MCT, medium chain triglycerides within that are gonna be 100%, so way higher. But gram for gram, it's mil for mil, fat for fat. So 20 grams is 20 grams of fat, it's absolutely perfect. So you're gonna sip this, head to training. We're gonna be filming some full episodes of my first time getting back into a full MMA and grappling class. Hopefully there'll be a little bit sparring, there'll be a lot of technique work in there, but I'm gonna show you the level and stages I'm at in terms of fitness, how I feel, how I'm moving, and uh, that will appear in a separate video later on down the line. So we're gonna head there now, then when we get back, it'll be time for our final meals and intakes. Catch you in a bit. Protein, good fats, tasty fats. Smeaking of protein. No fat protein. How good does that look? So we're back from two, two and a bit hours. Two and a bit. Of MMA striking and grappling. I am sore from my toes to my head. Even though in that deprived state and that beaten state, I personally, me alone with no help, have conjured up this amazing chicken fajita meal. That woman over there had nothing at all to do with it. At all, nothing, zero. <laughs> <laughs> now obviously Lainey did this as we would look, so I'm lucky enough to come home. We come home from training and we have a chicken breast and fajita spiced meal here. So we've got peppers and chicken. I'm gonna use mini scales along this and weigh them out. Three of these wraps, which are called... Low carb, carb zone. <laughs> so they're low carb wraps. We're gonna be having two of those each. Around about 25 grams of that mature cheddar cheese in there. A lot of colours and veg alongside. And this is a... Avocado, tomato and onion salad. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> and to top it off, we're going to have some Greek yoghurt. This is fat free, that's just because we don't eat this very often. And when we do, um, it's more for Lainey than myself. So she doesn't want those high fats in there like I do sometimes. But you could obviously... Wrap in some more fats with this by having a full fat Greek yogurt in there, which would be super tasty. So we're gonna eat this, log it, macros will up on the screen, and then we will move on to the final bits and bobs of the day. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Dessert time. 
After any workout, you want to replenish that glycogen, which means get some carbs in there, and simple forms of carbs are really good. So what we have here is... <laughs> I'd like to take full credit for this whole full day of eating, <laughs> apart from the shit meals. It's not a shit meal, it's a lazy man meal. So what have we got here? We have some of the healthy Oppo raspberry nipple ice cream. Raspberry nipple? Yeah, it's called raspberry nipple. It says it on the tin. <laughs> it actually does. <laughs> nipple, nipple ice cream. Then we've got some fresh raspberries, some mini meringue shells and some white chocolate chips. So micros and carbs from the raspberries, you get a lot from raspberries, only five grams of, five, six grams of carbs per hundred, so good volume to taste ratio. Quick replenishment of glycogen, sugars in there from the meringues. Again, they're lightweight, so you get a lot of meringue for a little weight, so that's another great one. And then the po poo po nipple free ice cream is per 100 grams, what is that? Per 100 ml, 3.5 grams fat and 7.4 grams carbs. So, bugger all. Is it a high protein one? No, no not really. No, so it's two, just two point eight healthier. So there you go. You've got a nice little bowl of carbs. Not too high in fat, but obviously adding those nice little bits of white chocolate in there to help bolster the fats a little bit. Obviously balance it to whatever you've got left. Macros for this one, which we've put on our screen, is now pink. And uh, you're gonna enjoy this and then crack on. And then we'll finish off the day with a final meal, no doubt, and maybe a couple of little snacky snackaroos. What's up? Sack. <gasps> <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Ooh, the final, final meal of the day, and I'm going with EHP Isopep. One scoop only because that's all I need, that's all that's necessary for the rest of the day to fulfill my requirements. Whole milk. Peanut butter, 100 grams of the frozen berries. So, scoop away, 25 grams of the peanut butter, 200 ml of the milk, then the frozen berries, which when you blend them, make it lovely and thick and cold, so you end up with a nice cold shake. That's the secret to making them taste good. But they also add some liquid in there, so just be aware of that, depending on how thick you want it to go. That leaves me with seven grams of carbohydrate left because now we are at a total for the day of, I don't think you're about to see that, will you? Yeah. yeah. Carbs 143, fats 151, and protein around about 230. Now, I said 200 at the beginning for protein, but I always aim for between 200 and 225. I give myself a range for the protein. Because I know I'm covered if I hit 200, but if I go over to 225, that's not going to be too bad. But going way over, kind of that 225, so it's a little bit high, so I'm on 230. But if you're doing like 250 plus protein a day, you're literally putting your money down the toilet. So if you're at 200, you're pretty much covered. Don't worry about it. If you're a smaller guy, 180 is fine, but don't really need to be going too much over 220 at all at any point. But we still have that seven grams of carb left and I'm gonna add it. This is my secret little tip topper for the shakes. Cinnamon flavored honey. And I can have eight grams of this. And I like to just have a nice little bit of a drizzle on the top. Oh, that wasn't a sexual. <laughs> there we go again. Always. Always mate. Can never just be smooth, man. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're just going down the toilet path. Toilet humor. Who does number two work for? Hey, this is just, this wasn't like I'm just a bit of a nice little drizzle, nice little finish to the day. No, no, no. what are we doing? Service station sound effects, <laughs> men's toilet. Seven and eight. That cinnamon flavored honey is mm, delightful. And you can add that onto, into your porridge or onto your cereals if you get it. Little trip if it does solidify a little bit. Stick in the microwave for literally 10 seconds and it'll loosen all up. Then all you need is a, use the peanut butter spoon that we used and you just give it a nice little, just ooh, stir that little bit through so it almost streaks through it. And then mm, you basically made yourself a peanut butter and jelly shake. And that is it for the end of the day. We've hit everything we needed to hit. And as you can see, we ate no chicken and broccoli bitch. We have been scientific, we have hit targets. We've had some lazy stuff, we've had some fun stuff, we've had pretty much wholesome foods throughout the day. These are all things that you should be able to pick up relatively easily as well. There's no crazy specialist things here. Use of supplementation you will have seen is minimal because that's why it's called supplements, because they are a supplement to an already good, structured and thought through diet that is dedicated to your goals and what you are doing. So, 
hope you've enjoyed this. If you've got any comments, in fact, let me know what is your favorite way of making a shake. Let me know in the comment section now your little secret ingredients, your little secret tips and to top tips for making a protein shake taste nice because there's a lot of people that just slam protein powder into water and wonder why it tastes like crappy water. <laughs> yeah, you have to put effort into your shakes and effort into the way you use supplements just like you do with your food and their ingredient profiles. Let me know, comment below, what are your little secrets and any questions you might have in regard to the, the diet that I'm doing that's high fat. Remember, it's a high fat, which means it's calorie dominant towards fat, but it's not keto. There's still a significant amount of carbohydrates in there being at 150 grams of carbs, but they are generally maintained around the working time, around those workouts, so that we're able to get that glycogen when it's necessary and then replenish it again afterwards. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what else you'd like to see. We'll carry on with this Undisputed series and we're gonna be showing you so much more. So like we said from today, we filmed We've done the ton of footage, didn't we, today at the wrestling. We've done the grappling, we've done uh, the MMA, the striking. So we're going to be building on those. You're going to meet the people that are surrounding me to help me, that are molding me in the direction that we're going, going to be going towards that ring, back to that fight lifestyle, whilst keeping the aesthetic side in there with the weight training and everything else that goes alongside. And at the end of it all, after the fights, after the fitness and everything that we're trying to do here, we're going to end up on that stage creating a physique that is still stage worthy, but actually has function, looks good. And as you can see, with all the food choices, it's not boring to look this way. It's not unhealthy to be this way. And you can actually enjoy your life. Because remember, it's life in the middle and this gym and everything else goes around that. So that's it for this episode. I'll catch you in the next one. I've been Lex. Thanks all for watching. Boom, baby. Lately I've been doing shit different Cooking like a chef, I've been all up in the kitchen Had to make a move, had to make a little distance Lot of people tripping, they could never see the vision Fuck that, tell them bounce